Welcome to Fox 17 Unfiltered, I'm Max Goldwasser. You know, life out in the country, it tends to move a bit slower, and that is why you would never guess. Inside two barns in Allegan, there's an 86-year-old man who's building one of the fastest cars in America. Here's Jim Byerly and his Streamliner. This is the top of the bucket list right now. Like, yep. this is the project. There's only one project. This is it right here. Going fast is all Jim Byerly has ever known. Burning up drag strips by stepping on the gas. This is the first dragster that I built. This, this had a Ranger six cylinder aircraft engine on it. And while speed is at the center of his life's biggest experiment, it has not been a part of the process. For this, Byerly wanted to take his time. There's a uh, few things that I've designed that I haven't seen anybody else do. And that's really the main thing that I like to do. It gives me incentive to figure things out and move forward. Since 1996, this metal missile has been at the top of his personal podium, spending countless hours in his Allegan County workshop building a streamliner that he hopes will break a record. I've built other cars in the past, but uh, this right here is the, the top one. The goal is to take this twin engine torpedo more than 400 miles an hour, shooting well past the previous record of 348 set for this kind of vehicle in 2010. Are you crazy? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I've been known to do some crazy things, I guess, you know, but uh, this is something that's interests me and with the things that we're doing, uh, uh, it's, it's a fun project. This interest has driven him for decades. Byerly consumed by the concept of racing since he was a teenager. Well, actually, it started clear back when I graduated from high school because I uh, walked over to the drugstore and that's when the hot rod magazines were small. And I thought, boy, that's pretty interesting, you know. And uh, it just gradually crept up from there. Little did Byerly know he was staring his future right in the face. The very same magazine that captured his curiosity printed a full page feature in 2005. Yeah, that was a Not Rod magazine, see? That is the millions and millions of those magazines go all over the world. Now at 86 years old, the dream has evolved. In the world of racing, nothing beats the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. It's a wide open 12 by 5 mile stretch of densely packed salt, creating a natural track perfect for setting land speed records. Byerly wants one of his own. After 26 years of work, the Streamliner is close to crossing the finish line. Look at the date on that, redrawn 7-28-96. Wow. Yeah. I'm you not, cut these in good shape? I'm not proud of that. <laughs> I, I feel bad that we're only this far along after that date. The hope is to have it ready to race in August taking this almost 27 feet long, 4,000 pound streamliner halfway to the speed of sound. But getting there has not been easy, going through hundreds of tests. Are these numbers or levels looking good to you right now? Not, not this go. upper one, no. All, all, everything else is because it's steady. I don't know what's causing them to jump up and down. Experimenting with different technology. This would be a door here and that, that will flop down and that's where the parachutes come out. Parachute. and creating several industry innovations along the way. This is our cooling system that we we're talking about. There's six heater cores. And not to mention, spending $250,000 of his own to make it all happen. Worth every penny for you? Yeah, yeah, right, right. It's all hard, hard work and yeah. time after time, you know. So when help arrived at his door, he welcomed it with open arms. I got an address, I came over here, and I had no idea what I was getting into except it was going to be a Bonneville car. And I show up and this is the first thing I see and I was blown away because this is top of the line, this is streamlined, this is unprecedented. And this is seven miles from my home, I couldn't believe it. A neighbor, a friend, and come August, the man who will get behind the wheel. Byerly putting his bucket list in Bear's hands. Luckily, though, he shares the same dream. My bucket list item was uh, go to Bonneville. Just go. Not to drive. Holy crap. That is, that is huge. That is just beyond bucket list. That's dream come true type stuff. Bear has been in a bunch of drag races himself, doing it since the 90s. 
but he's never traveled more than 140 miles an hour. And with the Streamliner, that will be tripled. So this will be a, a little bit different for you. That's correct. Are you excited, nervous, both, neither? Oh, I'm excited. There's no nervous there. I just want to get behind the wheel and pilot this thing. How are you not nervous, even just a little? Cause we're talking 400 miles an hour. This here. is, like I said, this is, Max, this is a bucket list item. Okay. I got, I just, I'm so pumped and so excited to do this. There's no nervousness whatsoever. Bear says August can't come soon enough. And while Byerly himself didn't need any extra motivation, he got it in 2020 when his wife of 63 years, Loa, passed away. I think Loa is, is watching over you, feeling pretty proud right now. I hope, I hope. Byerly says Loa would always tell him, I just want this to do what you want it to do. And pretty soon, Byerly will see if he can make her wish and his own come true.